Welcome back. Police in Abaco are investigating reports of looting in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. Megan Shepard has the story. The island of Abaco faring well during Hurricane Matthew, sustaining no major damage. However, as residents were breathing a sigh of relief, some unscrupulous persons within the community were using the darkness of the night to burglarize the local Quality Star Auto's gas station and convenience store. Owner Andrew Aubrey says he had just finished securing the place about half an hour before and removing the plywood from the front door. One of my employees called me and told me that the um, front door was When the police were notified, they came by and we re-ran the footage and seen basically two guys with masks and gloves. They went into the, on the back of the counter and basically just removed um, lighters, tobacco products, and just smashed and grabbed up as much as they could. says the crime occurred is so shortly after he left that he is uncertain whether the criminals were watching the premises or took advantage of the lit building. I imagine they could have been watching us because um, the electricity is off everywhere else and it's really dark around here so it's it's very possible that they were watching us. Despite this setback, Aubrey says there is still much to be grateful for. Yeah, we thought we were gonna get away scot-free but that didn't happen. I guess all things considered this is small to what's happening in the rest of the country. Now officer in charge for the Northern Bahamas ACP Emmerich Seymour is sending a strong warning to all criminals that when caught they will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. Don't go away, there's more after the break.